Number two, if 1.8 times 10 to the 20 electrons move through a pocket calculator during a full day's operation, how many coulombs of charge move through it? So basically we have to memorize this, right? That for every one electron, or, or every one electron, the charge on one electron is equivalent to negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs of charge. All right, let me just make that 19 a little neater. So basically, if I know the number of electrons, I can simply find the coulombs by doing a little conversion, right? So I'll start with the 1.80 times 10 to the 20 electrons, and then multiply that now by, we'll have electrons on the bottom, all right? So we will have then one, for every one electron, there is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs of charge. Now, if you notice here, right, the answer would come out to be negative technically, and you're, you might be saying, well, how can we have a negative number of coulombs? Basically, don't, don't worry too much about the negative sign. All right, you can, you can just give the absolute value. This, this negative sign just represents the sign of the electron, that it has this thing called a negative charge. But if you want to find out the quantity, all you need is really the magnitude. All right, so you can simply just erase that. It's really not a big deal. And now all we need to do is basically just do the multiplication. So it's 1.8 times 10 to the 20, right? times then 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. We get about 28.8. So 28.8, so 28.8, and then you can round that a little bit if you needed, but that's going to be in terms of electrons. And that's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe, and we will see you soon. Take care.